Hi, hello, my name's Ollie Bliss and this is my channel, Book Draw. For those who don't know, I enjoy looking at queer fiction and occasionally I create images out of it. Today I am announcing my contribution to Victober. So Victober has been running for three years and I only became aware of it by meeting Katie from um, Books and Things um, in the, the kind of uh, English uh, meetup that happened earlier in the year. Um, and I just thought she was really, really lovely. And um, she was saying that she was getting excited about Victober, and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 that, that, that sounds good. <laughs> uh, and now it's here, it's like it's already autumn, it, um, it's, it's happening. Um, so uh, I watched a video which I got quite excited about, um, and uh, she goes through all the different books, uh, which sparked off loads of kind of like, oh my god, I want to read that, I want to read that, I want to read that. <laughs> um, but then um, I've also done some other research in terms of things that I want to read for Victober too. So I just want to share some of those things with you in terms of what is coming up. So um, it's actually uh, being created by um, a group of co-hosts. So there's Ange from Beyond the Pages, uh, Kate Hauer and Lucy the Reader, who are all involved in this. Um, uh, but it was uh, through Katie, which was my route into this uh, contribution. And of course, keeping it queer. Um, so uh, I found some uh, representation uh, to uh, bring to the table uh, to provide something different from the selection. Um, uh, but also, I'm getting in there with the, the challenges as well. There are five challenges, including a bonus one. Um, so uh, this is my announcement of them. Whether or not I will achieve these, we will later find out. But um, this, we're going for gold. We're going for gold. We're, uh, we're going to try and find out. So Angie's first one is read a book of one of the host's favourite Victorian authors. Uh, so there's Charlotte Bronte, Charles Dickens, uh, Elizabeth Gaskell or Tom Hardy. Um, so of this wonderful selection, I actually chose Charles Dickens because I'd like to read Oliver Twist <laughs> because uh, I attempted reading it in high school uh, when uh, I was uh, leading up to my uh, SATs um, and I just did not engage with that. Instead, I did the classic thing of just watching the musical and then like being able to pull answers out of my behind and basically lied my way through it. I didn't actually know what Oliver Twist the music was, uh, musical was until I had actually reached high school, and I have some very like old memories of my reception teacher singing Oliver, Oliver. Please, sir, I want some more. And having no idea what she was talking about or why she was performing my name in that manner and it was really confusing so I feel like I should actually get to know this book better basically. Uh, I'm game, I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna uh, read a bit of Dickens basically. Uh, so the second one is Kate's challenge and she wants us to read a Victorian book with a, pr um, a proper noun or a place name or a person's name in the title. So for this one I'm choosing Oscar Wilde's uh, Picture of Dorian Gray because I've never actually read it. <laughs> I've, um, I know the story, um, I've seen the play, I've seen the film, um, I've, in, in, with also um, other parts of his work, uh, such as the importance of being earnest, but I've never actually bothered to read the book, so I feel like I need to read the book and uh, check him out as a writer. Um, so I'm actually going to be focusing um, on Oscar Wilde, which we'll go into further. Um, but then, so Katie's challenge is to read a book from the first... 10 years of the Victorian period and or a book from the last 10 years of the Victorian period. So the Victorian period, I should have explained, is uh, 1837 up to 1901. Um, and I thought Jane Austen was in there, but she's not. She was, it was before. So it's it very sad because I haven't actually bothered to read any of her, but she's not, she's not involved. Um, she's too early. She's too early. Uh, so, but for... Um, Katie's one, I am choosing another Oscar Wilde, um, but this one is quite exciting because I brought this up in Edinburgh when I uh, had a trip, um, but it is The Fairy Tales of Oscar Wilde, which has been illustrated by Michael Haig. So this is um, a revision uh, which was published in 1993, but originally his um, 
compilation of uh, fairy tales um, was actually first published in 1988. And he did it for his two sons. I was not aware he had kids. <laughs> I am a, a bad gay who does not know <laughs> enough. But yeah, um, there was Vivian Holland and Sarah Holland, and I was like, well, why is their name to Holland? Um, and that's because Constant changed their names to Holland uh, once he was done for his indecent exposure. Mr. Holland, welcome to Camera 3. Of course, your, your father's plays are part of everybody's possession. The importance of being earnest uh, is always around somewhere on the boards yes. and so on. Early days, I don't remember seeing them, but I first became conscious of them in, I should say, about 1907. But, um, yeah, so he had two kids, and uh, they, this is uh, his uh, uh, collection of uh, fairy tales, including the Happy Prince. Um, and it's beautifully, beautifully illustrated within here, so maybe I'll do something with that once I've read through it. But I thought that would be like a nice, different contribution uh, to um, Katie's challenge. And um, at 1988, that's kind of actually... Uh, oh, it's in the latter half. Oh, no, it's not. It's bang in the middle. <laughs> okay, I've failed on her challenge already. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll choose another one. Or maybe I won't. But so, anyway, let's get into it. The next one. Sorry, I'm like looking between things here. Uh, the next one is Lucy's challenge. So she's saying, read a Victorian book written by a woman um, anonymously or under a pseudonym. So I chose uh, Vernon Lee, who was actually born uh, Violet Page. Um, but Vernon um, uh, were, had relationships with women. Vernon wanted to be known as Vernon, and that's all that really na matters. Um, but Vernon was a pr prolific writer, incredibly intelligent, um, apparently. <laughs> uh, but uh, has written a lot of kind of academic uh, type of work, and com uh, social commentary, political, artistic uh, commentary but did also write fiction, and I have chosen The Yellow Book, which contains um, Prince Alberic and the Lady Snake, which is supposed to have some queer connotations, and that was in uh, 1895. So that also breaks me over into uh, Katie's, so I've done it already. Uh, so I just need to concentrate on The Yellow Book. But the, um, the yellow book, the Prince Alberic and the Yellow Snake, is available on PDF on the internet, so I'm going to be uh, honing in onto that particular story. And then uh, the fifth one, the a general challenge, is to read a Victorian book and watch the screen adaptation of it. So I have chosen North and South um, by Elizabeth Gaskell um, because uh, I really enjoyed, uh, what was her name? Mary. Mary Burton, I want to say. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I really enjoyed that book. Um, uh, I really enjoyed the style of writing. I, I really enjoyed learning about Manchester in that kind of period. Um, uh, but uh, Elizabeth Gaskell is um, a, a really acclaimed writer, particularly in England. And uh, luckily, because I live in Manchester, I live right by her house. I've never been to her house, so maybe we should go have a visit together. Um, and I can show you what it looks like inside. I think that would be quite a nice thing to do. Uh, but also they've got a group read-along, which is Wives and Daughters, which is by Elizabeth Gaskell as well. Um, so um, I might take part in that too. Uh, because also uh, what's great about um, uh, Victorian writers is um, they're all over 100 years. So um, a lot of uh, publishers are able to uh, distribute it um, quite easily. And so uh, Liverbox and libraries will have the majority of these available on, on audio as well. So if you're um, someone who ha preferences that, it should be relatively easy to take part in these challenges and do them while you're on the move, out and about, um, rather than having to find time and space to sit and enjoy and read them, even though I love doing that. And I intend to do some of that, particularly with my Oscar Wilde, because I have a comprehensive collection of his works. So Dorian Gray and I shall be sat down and getting it on. Um, anyway, this is everything that I wanted to tell you, um, <laughs> and I will see you again soon. But I'm, I'm very excited for this. Are you taking part, importantly, 
Um, which ones are you reading? I also need to go back to the comments which I left on Katie's because she announced a load of books which I hadn't come across before and I was like writing them down in the comments and partly because I wanted to note them for myself so that I can pick them up later and be like reading you, reading you, reading you. Uh, anyway, I'm having a good old ramble today. Probably too much coffee. This has been a delight. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like and um, thumbs up. Um, give me a comment down below. I'd love to have a little chat with you. Let's continue the October conversation. Uh, anyway, I will see you all again soon. All right, bye. <laughs>